Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gaming with me, Tony Mo, and I'm here today bringing you a nice, small, wonderful chunk of Titanfall 2 news. Respawn, just today, has officially announced that they are going to be hosting the game's very first free trial. So they're doing a free trial for the entire multiplayer offering. This free trial is going to begin for EA Access and Origin Access members on November 30th, and then it's going to become available for everyone else on December 2nd, on all platforms. So Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and Origin PC players will have access to this trial completely for free on December 2nd. It's gonna run until December 4th, and it will even include all of the maps, modes, weapons, and content that will be releasing with the Angel City's Most Wanted DLC on December 3rd. So you'll have pretty much a full day to check out the new DLC on top of the rest of the game's multiplayer. Now there is no time limit from that period, from December 2nd or November 30th to December 4th, you can play it as much as you want. It is completely unlimited. And once the trial is over, you can keep your progress if you decide to purchase the full game. This is exactly what so many of us wanted. I'm so happy to see Respawn pursuing the idea of a free trial for the multiplayer. We already saw a lot of growth in the community with the sales that went on for Black Friday and even Cyber Monday. The game was down to like $35 in most places. A lot more people playing it on Xbox One. I've heard great things from a lot of you guys on the PlayStation 4 player account. Just wonderful. And this is no doubt going to help grow the community even further. People can get a taste of the multiplayer without spending a dime. And hopefully a lot more players will be joining us as we move into 2017 and the future of Titanfall 2. I'm very, very excited for this. And I wanted to, you know, really look at you guys. And I, I commend you to grab your friends to let them know about this free weekend, to let them know how they can get involved with it, how they can access it, and to drag them into multiplayer with you. Bring them on over, and hopefully, in the coming days and weeks, they'll be fighting right alongside you uh, in your next session of Titanfall 2 multiplayer. So Respawn also released over the last couple days some additional details in regards to the content that is going to be launching inside of Angel City's Most Wanted, come December 3rd, and they showcased some of that content inside of the Angel City trailer they released just yesterday. So inside of the trailer, we can see both the Ion Prime and the Scorch Prime chassis in all of their glory. We see them utilizing their brand new execution animations, and as Respawn has also mentioned, they are going to have their own set of sound effects. I could not be more impressed with what Respawn has done with these Prime Titans from a design perspective. Scorch looks absolutely incredible, and so far, away from the base Scorch chassis. I just love the details on this. He just turned him into an entirely different beast. He looks absolutely incredible. The same can be said for Ion. Still really staying true to, I think, what makes Ion Ion, that sort of high-tech stealth fighter appearance, but throwing a lot of additional layers to the actual appearance of this chassis. I love the base color scheme on this thing, too, but it's completely won me over. This light blue with that flat gray and that orange on the cooling vents just looks absolutely stunning. I can't wait to drop into combat with this Prime Ion chassis. The trailer also showcases that Wingman Elite pistol, which we do finally have some details on. As it turns out, this is Bish's personal B3 custom Wingman Elite pistol. It has its own finish on it. It has a red dot sight. It seems to be far more stable and far more controllable than the base Wingman, though. And we see it doing some hefty damage inside of the Angel City trailer. It's going to be interesting to see just how powerful it is once we deploy it inside of the game. I mean, the base wingman's already pretty powerful, so, um, you know, maybe this thing's just a little bit more controllable, a little bit more refined. Uh, nonetheless, I just love the idea of them, you know, showing us that they're not afraid to introduce new pilot weapons into the game. Hopefully that paves the way forward for more pilot weapons, as well as the potential for new Titan weapons. That would be really cool indeed. They also gave us some additional details on what we can expect to find inside of the storefront when it goes live on December 3rd. So there's going to be an Angel City's Most Wanted pack for everything. There's going to be an art pack, Titan art pack, I should say, a call sign pack, and a camo pack. So the Titan art pack is going to give you five new nose arts and an exclusive war paint skin. There will be one of these packs for each of the six Titans. The call sign pack will give you 20 new exclusive call signs with 10 call sign patches, and the camo pack is going to give you 20 new exclusive camos that you can apply to every Titan, Titan weapon, pilot, and pilot weapon in the game. They are not locked out. They're also going to be letting us purchase the Nitro Scorch pack, which was a pre-order pack, I believe, as well as making an upgrade to the Deluxe Edition, which will give you instant access to both the Prime Titans, an additional layer of camos, nose arts, so on and so forth. 
Now, I'm really hopeful that they let us buy a lot of this stuff individually, but I guess it depends on the cost of these packs. If it's like $5 for one of these call sign packs or the camo pack, I'd be more than happy to just buy the whole bundle. But at the same time, wouldn't it be nice to maybe pick up one camo for 99 cents? It wouldn't actually be the most cost efficient thing, but sometimes you just want one camo. You don't want to spend $5. You don't want to spend whatever the price might be. Either way, we'll hold our opinions on that until we see the actual cost of things in just a few days. Now, there is one other announcement that Respawn made. They're actually going to be adding a field of view slider for console users in an upcoming patch. Really excited about this. I think a lot of people on console just, they don't care, or maybe they do care. But I'm telling you right now, Titanfall 2 is a game that is best played at like 90 to 95 FOV which is not what we have in the base game right now. The PC version has a maximum of, I believe, 95, and that works really well. This is a game that requires an exceptional level of situational awareness and that players can really benefit from, especially in a high mobility, high speed environment. So if you're someone who moves around the map a lot, even if you're someone who's just stationary, having that additional field of view makes Titanfall 2 a much more satisfying and much more enjoyable experience. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do when that field of view slider goes live it's slap it to its highest setting, which won't be anything over 95, and just feel the difference. It honestly is going to be a massive improvement, a wonderful creature comfort for those of us playing on the console, which is the majority of the Titanfall 2 community at this point. Once again, let me remind you guys to grab some friends, to grab a Wingman or two, or even more than that, get them involved with the free trial this weekend, get them playing Titanfall 2, and hopefully they'll be convinced, just like we were, to borrow a copy of Titanfall 2 and join the fray. Any questions, any opinions on these Prime Titan chassis? Now that we've seen them in action, in game, what do you think of them? I personally love the direction that Respawn has went with both of these. They both look incredible, and I'm really excited to get my hands on both of them. Anything else for me? Throw it down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.